afternoon baseball here on the show. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the L.A. Dodgers and the Atlanta Braves. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Max Freed is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Braves. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, getting a look at lefty Max Freed. And man, has this guy come a long way in a short time. This guy's as good a left-handed starting pitcher as there is in the game. Smooth gas, 95 to 97 miles an hour. Good overhand curveball. He'll mix the steady diet of change-ups in. When he starts to put all three of those pitches together, look out. We're looking at one of the top left-handed pitchers in all of baseball. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This is hit sharply to the left side. But right there to glove it is the shortstop for the first out. Batting second. The shortstop, Corey Seeger. Now to the plate, Corey Seeger. Lifetime in this matchup. He's hitless in three at bats. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a liner. Acuna is right there as he takes it for the second out. Batting third, the third baseman, Justin Turner. Now at the plate, here is Justin Turner. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Here's the pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Hey there's a nice knock by the three hole hitter. I know there's two outs but they always say with your man coming up the number four hole monster as soon as he steps in the batter's box there's a runner in scoring position. So here's Cody Bellinger. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah and that hit might not amount to much but anytime you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Here's the first pitch to him. Liner in there for a base hit. And that's going to move that go ahead run to second now with two gone. Wow, looked like that an easy good. beginning of the this catcher. inning. Gets the first two really? guys out, then the three and four hitters all of a sudden start locking in on him. And now he's uh, got to get through this fifth hold hitter to get out of this inning unscathed. Yeah, he's definitely put his feet to the fire right here. This number five guy, he's known. He sits in that five hole to drive in runs, and he's smelling ribbies right now. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Come set the 0 1 hit down the third baseline but this will wind up a foul ball strike two. Well the key for him on the mound is to keep the ball down certainly. Oh hold on here well hit into deep left center and I don't think this one's coming back. No siree this one is gone. So a three run shot to left center and the Dodgers have now taken a three nothing lead. Yeah he's looked pretty shaky from the first pitch and things just kind of spiraled out of control from there. I think these guys smelled blood in the water and they punctuated with a three run job and an early lead. Next up is Max Muncy. The first baseman. Max. As he gets a good curveball here to start the at bat, it's strike one. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Again he sends it out of play. Three runs already home here.
Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well to deep right field. Acuna retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. But the Dodgers strike for three, all courtesy of the three-run home run. Bottom of the first coming up. It's now 3-0 Los Angeles. Clayton Kershaw, a Texas-born left-hander, gets the starting nod. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, take a look at that career ERA in the low twos. Not an easy thing to do in the day of smaller ballparks and guys hitting a lot of home runs. One thing he does, he stays away from the barrels of the bats. And if he continues to pitch like that, he's going to have his way with a lot of teams. It'll be interesting and fun to watch him in this one here today. Striding in is Ronald Acuna. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. This one's down to third. Turner has it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Batting second, the second baseman, Ozzy Albi. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. His lifetime numbers against Kershaw, he's gone three for eight. Kershaw into the windup. Here's the first pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. One. one out, nobody on. into the corner and slicing foul. Hit to short. He's right there. Throw on to first to take care of him and Kershaw is in control now. Two away. So next that up will good. be Freddie Freeman. The first first cuts for him here with the bases Freddie. open and two away. Freeman. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Pollock looking up. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. A solo home run off the bat of Freddie Freeman. And the Bravos are on the board. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. That is cool. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Now, this ball is hit deep down the line. And it's a foul ball. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Slow roller, left side. Scooped up. And a bit of a high throw that time, but not much problem over there at first as that will end the inning. Braves get a run on the Freeman home run. Second inning coming up. It's the Dodgers three and the Braves one. Now it'll be A.J. Pollock. Lifetime versus this pitcher. He's one for two. A.J. Pollock. Here's the first pitch. Pollock is certainly known in part for power at the plate, in particular in these types of matchups against a left-hander on the mound. Yeah, because he knows that lefty can't get inside on him. What a comforting feeling you know it is as a hitter when that pitcher has nowhere to go on the inner half of the plate. Grounded to third. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. 
I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint, but nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher, and there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. On the ground is short. This could be two. Swanson picks it up to second for one. Back to Freeman, not in time, and they'll just get the one. Trevor Bauer will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 27, Trevor Bauer. He set and the pitch. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. He set now the pitch. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Woody Keller. You know, D. Rowe, Woody Keller's a good umpire, but at times the consistency kind of wavers a little bit. I'm not sure if you'd say he's a low ball umpire or a high ball umpire. Sometimes his zone changes from game to game. Yeah, he can be a little inconsistent, Dan, no question about it, but he's approachable. As, a, as an offensive player, I just want to be able to turn around and say, is that as far as you're going today? And Woody will usually give you an answer. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit on the ground out to short. Swanson brings it in. The tag, and he is out at third. And with that, the side is retired. One left for L.A. As the lead remains, three to one. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The catcher, Travis Darno. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Swing and a liner. There now is Pollock, and he's got it for the first out. Batting six. The shortstop, Gansby. Swanson. So bases are empty with one out now. And that brings up the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson. Now here's the first offering. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Batting seven. The third baseman, Austin. Next, Riley. it'll be Austin Riley. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Belted high in the air out to left. Back goes Pollock at the track. The wall. And that one is gone. A solo shot here to left as it's now a 3-2 ball game. There's an old saying in the game. They say solo homers won't kill you. This might be a good time for a mound visit right here. Try and erase those negative thoughts and get right back in the zone. You still have the lead. The batter will be Christian Pache. As it's on the ground toward the hole. And that finds its way through for a base hit. I can't tell you guys how fired up Bobby Cox used to get when the eight hole hitter would get a knock. And I would know that, boys, because I batted an awful lot in that eight hole in my early days. Charlie Morton will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Hitting for the Braves. 
number 50, Charlie Morton. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. And what an effort on the running play to end the inning. Braves draw a bit closer courtesy of the solo home run. We've played two. It's the Dodgers three and the Braves two. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. First delivery to him. Ball hit out to Albies at second base. Fielded cleanly, throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now with the plate, Justin Turner, he singled first time up. Here's the pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Ozuna on the run. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. So the bases are empty here with two gone. And here comes Cody Bellinger. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and he launches this one to deep left field. Back goes Ozuna at the track. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Dodgers retired on just four pitches. They're up three to two. Acuna digs in now. His numbers against Trevor Bauer. He's hitless in six tries. The right fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. Lifted in the air to right field. Betts has a read on it. One out. So one gone for the Braves here in the third, and that'll bring up the exciting Ozzy Albies. Albies. First pitch of the AB now. Bauer gets the sign, coming at him with the 0 and 1. Line to the right side. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. The first baseman, number five, Freddie. And Freeman. now in the box, Freddie Freeman. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Back goes Betts. Gone! Santa Maria. Game over. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. And none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Well, they say better late than never, and that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charge in one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball. A 
one run finish four to three the final tally today the Atlanta Braves led this game from the third inning on and never wavered Charlie Morton gets the W on the mound so that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney and our whole crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more head to the show dot com. Final line score for our ball game.